Hi, I'm Rodney. I'm 51 years old. I've been with Titan Medical for going on eight years now, and uh, I love it, and it's definitely the fountain of youth. I decided to become a Titan patient because uh, I just wanted results. I wanted to be healthier. I wanted to look better. I wanted to feel better. I wanted to function better, and I knew that joining Titan Medical would definitely lead me in the right direction. Before Titan Medical, I was very lethargic, not much energy, not much focus, and now that's all changed now. After getting my blood work done with Titan Medical, I definitely noticed that my levels were off and they definitely got me back in line, got my hormones back on track and uh, my life has definitely changed since then. The Titan Medical Therapist that I use is the Titan Hercules Potion, the Titan Complete and the Titan ECA Stack. All of them are definitely game changers and uh, I definitely got to keep using them every day. Since joining Titan Medical, I feel amazing. People don't believe my age, they don't believe how I look. and. Uh, I feel wonderful, tons of energy, tons of stamina, and everything is through the roof. I love Titan Medical. My experience with Titan Medical staff, the doctors, the nurses, everyone has been nothing but amazing. Everybody is very knowledgeable, helpful, and it will definitely lead you in the right direction. And uh, they are just amazing people to work with. Being a Titan Medical patient has been very wonderful for me. It's helped my life amazingly. and. Uh, I thank John and Sharice for bringing me aboard. It's been a long journey and uh, they've definitely changed my life, a game changer, and I'm so grateful for them.
Hey guys, I know it's crazy times out there. I just wanted to update you guys on what Type Medical Center can help you guys out with. We offer hormone replacement therapy, medical weight loss, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, rejuvenation detox, blood draws, and now we're offering primary care services and medicines directly to your doorstep. That's right, nationwide, we can help you guys. Our medical providers can do a FaceTime or Skype with you guys. All you have to do is call or text 727-389-3220. Also, you can go to the tightmedicalcenter.com website and go right to the new patient paperwork tab, fill out the new patient paperwork, and we'll get back to you guys immediately. We're here for you guys, and remember, Titan Medical Center has your back. So how did I feel before Titan? Um, I had a lot of ups and downs. Um, at a lot of times I felt good, but there were some times where I wasn't feeling as good. And then with Titan, when I started doing that, not at first, but it started gradually happening, I started feeling better consistently. And that was probably the biggest um, aha moment for me, knowing that Titan was really the one for me. Um, just being consistent on an even keel and knowing that you know I'm getting this it's real, it feels good, and I feel good. I decided to become a patient because of other people and their testimonials. And after a while, when I kept seeing it, I was like, hmm, this sounds like something I wanna be a part of. And I was very apprehensive at first because you know, a lot of people say things and then there was people that I knew that were really getting fantastic results um, of all ages. So that was the reason why I really wanted to, to make that decision. And ever, ever since I made that decision, it's helped me out immensely. I've felt great and it's very consistent and that's the biggest thing for me, um, consistency. When I got my blood work back, my blood work was not where I thought it would be. My blood work was all over the place. My testosterone was, was not uh, where I thought it was. Um, my estrogen and a lot of levels were, were really off. And then after a while, doing it and not right away, after a couple months, it started leveling out and the consistency has been amazing. Um, my service at Titan Medical Center has been phenomenal. I get a text message every month ask me, how is things going with our regiment? They're very on point. I can always count on them and knowing that makes me feel like really good and it makes me wanna you know, continue uh, working with Titan Medical Center. So I use a hormone replacement therapy. I know that it's real. I know that I can count on it and it makes me feel really good um, one of my favorite products is the ab cream. Um, it's something that's helped me a lot. I like to use it um, before I go in the sauna. I rub it on my stomach and then I put my waist trainer on and as soon as I get out, I take it off and it's drenched. It's amazing. Um, the Hercules Potion is something that is amazing too. You get a great pump. Nectar of the Gods, Titan Complete, all of these therapies have been phenomenal. All the amino acids make me feel fantastic. I'm always up alive and my cognitive functions are on point. I had back surgery and I'm, I'm very healthy and it kind of caught me off guard and I was, I was really depressed. And you know, I was talking to uh, John, the CEO, about what I can do, um, you know, as, as we all have insecurities and there was a big scar on my back, you know, and I spoke to him and he said that BPC um, 157 is something that can help with that and it's helped me out tremendously and I actually took photos throughout that and I have tons of photos going through periodically through the months and it's helped me out tremendously so I couldn't thank him enough for that. I feel better than good and better than most. I couldn't be happier with the service. I couldn't be happier with you know how I feel and again the consistency is what is key. 
when you're going up and down up and down that's not good for your mind and a lot of people are going through mental health and that's something that we want to avoid and i know i can count on them to give me therapies that are that are that are really top of the line i'm i'm beyond happy definitely i can you know keep saying that um i'm, I'm beyond happy and you know i'll continue to use Titan therapies and you know I'm excited you know when I get in my 50s I think I'm gonna be 40 to, to keep keep uh, you know looking good and feeling good from the inside hey guys it's Cass nurse practitioner with Titan Medical Center I want to talk to you guys today about hormones testosterone in particular so I have a lot of questions from friends family and my patients should I test my hormones well that's a great question I think the answer is yes. So some may ask, what are the symptoms of low testosterone? Well, some of the symptoms may be being tired constantly, being irritable, depressed, not interested in events with friends and family, decreased muscle mass and strength, slower recovery, decreased sexual health, sexual dysfunction, weight gain, those are all some of the signs of low testosterone. We, as human beings, naturally, our testosterone can decrease with age, illnesses, with medication and lifestyle choices, such as you know being overweight, obesity, lack of exercise. So some of the benefits of balancing out your hormones, such as your testosterone, can be increasing your quality of life, being able to enjoy friends and family and you know events around you more often, also having better energy levels, being less irritable, increasing your sexual health, increasing overall wellness, decreasing fat, increasing muscle mass, increasing muscle gain, decreasing insulin resistance. So evaluating if you are deficient on your hormones is achieved with a simple blood test. We can know where your levels fall. We'll find out in a few days. We can put together a plan to balance out your hormones and bring back the happiness and you know, vitality to your life. Give us a call, 727-389-3220. I'd love to help you out. And once again, guys, stay strong and stay healthy out there. Guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome and good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts you guys might even do this and not realize it and your partner might be currently upset at you so we might help you in that aspect this is true <laughs> so we're gonna what's up guys john here i'm sharice and we're back with another cupid's corner so every week we're coming at you guys giving you guys great tips tricks and maybe some scenarios that we went through or some of our friends or family members or something we've seen out in public or around town. <laughs> so, uh, you know, every week we want to come up with a great topic to help you guys, you know, flourish your relationship, build a strong, healthy relationship, or maybe a future relationship, and maybe not get any bad relationships, like maybe one of your past relationships. So, 
relationships deal with a lot of different things. And I think this topic that we're going to talk about today is more common than we think, right? Mm -hmm. So let's talk about it. Yeah, because people don't talk about it. Libido issues happen to both men and females. So at that point, you know, we see a lot of ED commercials out there and stuff like that. So we know erectile dysfunction is a big thing with males. Okay, so this happens to the libido um, and it makes them feel possibly insecure or not, you know, the man they should be and, and stuff like that. And they deal with it in different ways. So there's different medications out there that can possibly help a man. But for a female, right, um, they might be going through different things, um, you know, mentally or physically or hormonal for both parties. Um, that they're suffering from, you know, a libido that's not so good or a sex life that's not so good. And at that point, they really don't know what to do. And usually, you know, couples, you know, they might not talk about these different things. Yeah. And that could create issues within the relationship. Yeah. Um, it, it's more common than you guys think out there. So let's just get into the topic, I guess. So, you know, what really happens to males and females uh, that causes libido issues, right? So one, you could have hormonal problems or deficiencies or imbalances mm -hmm. that can mess with your libido or physically and mentally, I guess, right? Yeah. And females the exact same way as guys. And at that point, they don't know really what to do. They're like, you know, I'm, I'm having problems uh, in the bedroom. And then possibly they go see a doctor. They ask a friend like, you know, hey, listen, things haven't been as good as they used to be or they're not up to par like I used to be. You know, what can I do? And usually a friend will tell them, you know, you can possibly take this or do this and <laughs> it's probably going to, you know, help you out. Or you go to a, a doctor or a medical provider and they possibly might give you some ED medicines. That's usually just for guys, though. Yeah. But for females, I mean, you know, you guys have to remember, too, because people don't think about this, but this is important. So... A lot of people, especially right now with COVID, everybody was inside, nobody did anything, everybody got down and depressed, now everybody's taking all these antidepressants. Yep. These antidepressants, they kill your libido. Yep. They kill your libido. Even yep. on paper, it raises your SHBG, yep. right? So it just kills your libido. It, and libido could be just, it just could mentally kill your libido, meaning like you don't even think about it. Right. You know, and it, it has may not have anything to do with your very very sexy husband because he's sexy oh. but um you know it, it might just be just that you don't think about it because you're not like you're not there mentally you know you might be there like you know as far as physically and emotionally that kind of thing but if your libido is just down or lost you may not even think about it you know john used to say it all the time <laughs> What did you used to say? Like, you know, if, if the libido is down for a guy, like a girl could walk by in like a maid outfit or something. Yeah, so like, all right, so if your libido is unexistent as a yeah. guy, right, and you don't know this, right? this is not something that you're even thinking about. You know, your wife or partner could walk by and whatever is your biggest turn on, right? Whether it's, you know, you've got the sexy schoolgirl outfit on or lingerie or, you know, you got pigtails. Pig That's one of my favorites, okay? Um, so at that point, like they're in this awesome outfit, they're all dressed up, you know, trying to get your attention and you're not even thinking about it. You're like, you know, you're reading, you know, an article on your phone, you're watching some TV show and you know, when they're walking by you and they're, they're maybe trying to get your attention, you're, you're not even like there. Right. And you know, this is something that you didn't think of. And then at that point, like they might bring up to you, like, you know, why don't you find me attractive anymore? You're like, what are you talking about? Like, I was just here reading this article. Like. Like we don't have, we're not intimate anymore. We're not doing this. Why? You know, and, and you don't have an answer. You're like, well, I, I don't know. Like, and then all of a sudden it starts to amount to other things. Like, yeah. you know, okay, well, who were you on the phone with? Yeah. And now you start getting into all this, like, you know, well, okay. I, I mean, is there something else going on? Are you talking to someone else? Are you, t are you doing like stuff on your texting? Is there something in your Instagram? Is there something in your Facebook? Are, are you, you webcamming Are with? you TikToking? Yeah. Where, where, where are you? Only on the, fans? Are you swiping to the left? <laughs> you know and the guys might be so innocent like i really don't know even girls can be like i'm true, sorry true. like i i don't true. i don't know why this is going on or whatever yeah. you know and another common medication that people are taking especially for guys so hair loss a lot of guys Ooh, like their hair just like females they want to keep their hair and they ask their doctor hey listen i'm losing some hair i'm thinning or i have predisposal to you know balding because my family yeah. you know what medications can i take so they give them finasteride, Propecia. Ugh. 
So it's great. It might help you keep some of your hair, but it's like a male castration drug. It will <laughs> literally kill your libido. For most people, it has this effect. Yeah. You know, I've tried this medication. I know personally, I've been through it. Where Poor me. We are very active every day, you know, as far as that goes. Um, I, you know, I, I love to be intimate with my wife. You know, I find her very attractive to this day 13 years later. So, you know, I, I want to be intimate with her. So when I was on this medication, it, it builds up in the system. And literally, it was happening to me like, like a couple of days ago. By, you know, I wasn't thinking about it, you know, when reacting to things. And then I had to, you know, like start thinking about that. Like, what's going on that I'm not wanting to do this? Because I like or find enjoyment in this <laughs> big time, right? And then, I, you know, I, you know, you go reading the medication. This is a main side effect. Yeah. A lot of guys are taking this medication It's a out big there. one, yeah. And you don't you gotta, want that. Then you got to pick between your hair and sex. Listen, I know this. <laughs> if it's between my hair and sex, I'm probably going to pick sex. <laughs> I'll be a bald stud all day long. But I don't want to be a hairy... Nothing, okay? <laughs> or being able to do nothing. Like I'm a man. Like this. I got all this hair though. Yeah. You I can got, you can rub my hair. I at look night. like Fabio, but I can't perform like I want to. Like But Fabio's hair looks great in the wind. Yeah, see that's what I'm saying. It might look good in the wind, but man, you ain't nothing in the bedroom. Like well that's a part of the relationship, you know, that's a part of intimacy. Right. Um and bonding and stuff like that. So that's just one thing. So you you know, if you guys are out there and you guys are taking this medication when you're having these problems. You, know, you might want to start scaling that back or, or looking into different options. Yeah. And there are different options out there for you guys and girls if you are taking this medication. Mm -hmm. You know, but you gotta you gotta take away some of these different things. The other thing is is you know if you are having problems in the bedroom or having erectile issues as a male, you're gonna look into what the root of the problem is. Is it antidepressants I'm possibly on? Is it maybe a hormone deficiency or imbalance? Because listen, if you have low testosterone, you're probably going to have low libido that goes along with it. Now, low testosterone doesn't mean that you just have low libido, oh, right? Man, that's, that's a common a, that's myth, a stamp. right? Low testosterone can deal with brain function, it, like brain fog, uh, physical issues, uh, you know, being lethargic, and a whole bunch of other things. But it will directly affect libido too, as well. Okay. Um, so same that, thing for the females. Same I thing mean, for females. Yeah, I mean, 150 million percent for everybody that is postmenopausal. Usually, that happens somewhere between the age of 45 and 55. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, with all the hormones they're putting in our food, it's happening somewhere between 35 and 45. Yep. So it's happening earlier and earlier and earlier. Just like females are getting their menstrual cycles yep. at like nine. This yep. is crazy. But I mean, when you're postmenopausal, you no longer have any estrogen. No yep. longer have any more estrogen. You don't create any lubrication down there. Yep. Don't create any lubrication down there it's dry and it don't doesn't be a desert. feel good I, you know it doesn't feel good for either one of you it could create some chafing and for for both parties not good friction it's not great for yeah yeah i mean you know <laughs> ky jelly can only go so far exactly so you know it's important to do that and honestly you don't even need to be postmenopausal because you can have a hormonal imbalance at the age of 25 yes to be yes. quite honest with you so i mean that's huge that's a big portion of it and the hormonal imbalances don't just affect you physically, erectile right. slash vaginal dryness. Um, it also affects you mentally, you know. Right. So that's why they say sometimes people, like for females, they might feel like they're being bipolar. They're like crying one minute, happy one minute, crying one minute, happy one minute. But they're really just have a super, super hormonal imbalance. Yep. And, they, and then obviously, let's just say, for instance, that you're crying one minute, you know, happy one minute, whatever that might be, and you are literally getting on your husband's last nerve, right? Mm -hmm. Then he's probably not going to want to be intimate if you're, like, really annoying. You know, you're really just, eh, 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 eh. I mean, he might just do it to do it because he's a guy. <laughs> guys are guys. Because we can't take that away from guys, right? Right? Guess, yeah. Okay. Well, the guys are guys, so, you know, but ultimately, <laughs> you know, if you're annoying him, he may not want to be intimate with you. Yeah. That's important. It, it, it definitely is important, you know, and, and, you know, usually partners, usually it happens to one partner, like super low libido. Oh, and then the other partner's like, hey, what's going on? You know, and then you're like, well, I don't really know. And that's when, you know, you want to see what's going on because you want to be able to please your partner, you know, because that's a part of being in a relationship. You want to make sure your partner's happy and you want to make sure you're taking care of all their needs and stuff like that. And that's really where it comes into play. You know, we, ha we deal with it all the time here where, you know, let's say a guy comes in, he has low testosterone, we get him back up to where he needs <laughs> to be. He's back home and he's raring to go all the time. Yee! And then the wife is like, well, 
what is going on oh, here? No, like, no. I, I don't have that drive. Like, I want to be like you too. And that's when they call us up and they yeah. usually both get on programs. You know, that's another thing. So whether you're a male or a female, listen, here at Titan Medical Center, we have options for both parties. And we can definitely help both parties, males and females, get that libido back, get that drive back so it can spark that awesome forever fire and make sure you guys are getting hot in the bedroom. Because Listen, I have to make at. sure. I got to make sure I, I just drop this in. Remember, I use the real life scenario stuff, right? So even if you are not having libido issues, yep. okay, you can always enhance your sex life. Yep. You can always enhance it. Even if you're, you are rocking it in the bedroom, yep. right? You could, you could rock it more, believe it or not. I mean, I've, I've even done this, you know, the Pepsi challenge here where I took a female libido enhancer. I have, you know, fine, you know, libido. sex drive and yeah. libido, but I took it just to see and it was like awesome. That's right. That's right. That's <laughs> and what like, it's all about. Like extra awesome. You know, it's already awesome, but it was like extra, extra awesome. So it does, you don't have to have an actual issue to use libido enhancers. You can use it just to use it. Let's just say there's a night you guys have date night and you just want to connect. Yeah. To use it. So you guys can do this. Also, you guys can do like different things, like maybe you guys want to role play or use toys or whatever it may be. There's a lot of different options on there to help, you know, raise, uh, you know, a good bedroom relationship to where it was to where it is now. So if you guys have any questions about our libido enhancers or how we can help you guys, you guys can always call or text us 727-389-3220. And we love to cover all these great topics with you guys. Hopefully we're helping you guys make that relationship stronger, better, and last forever. Okay. And longer, longer in many departments. Yes. Longer in many departments. <laughs> so we're going to wrap it up. This is another Cupid's Corner. Make sure you guys tune in every Sunday at 11 a.m. on ABC. If you miss it, don't worry. We're on YouTube. Just type in Titan Medical Center or our social media channels, Facebook, Instagram. Check out Titan Medical Center. We appreciate you guys tuning in, and we'll see you guys next week. I'm Cherise. I'm John. And we'll see you next week. Later, guys. Bye.